hello everyone so i hope you are doing good and uh, as a part of series of migration videos i am on to another video so this is the reference architecture we are talking about and migration of uh, these components to aws so we deployed this architecture so in the previous videos we have uh, dip uh, uh, we we deployed this architecture and then access the bash nodes then explode our environment and uh, then using ads we installed the ads enabled athena integration and installed the agents started the data collection browsing the discovered data and viewing network connections over in a migration hub so that was covered in ads later we export explored all that data into aws athena like uh, different queries that we ran into athena to to analyze the data using queries so we have discovered the data analyzed the data now we have uh, enough information to migrate the servers so now we will talk about uh, uh, workload migration so uh, in this uh, we will talk about lift and shift approach uh, one of the migration approach that we mostly talk about so using this aws migration we are going to rehost the workloads from on premises to AWS environment. So uh, I'll show here two types, one from customer data center and another from Microsoft Azure. So currently in this video, I am covering uh, customer data center. And just for your information, uh, we do not have actual data center. Uh, we have deployed this architecture on AWS itself, uh, but on the separate VPC. But it gives enough clarity uh, to clear the concepts of migration because in demo purpose, we cannot create a customer data center. So we have deployed this and uh, ran the tools, discovered the data, and uh, now we will use uh, application migration service to lift and shift these from uh, to the target subnet in this. So, uh, so uh, we will learn how to rehost the workload using MGN uh, migration service. That's the next generation of Cloud Endure migration. So, Cloud Endure will be used for di disaster recovery only. But for migrations, AWS shifted it to application migration service. And for many use cases, application migration service can be the best route to the cloud migrations. So that that uh, just a little bit theoretical things in this. And uh, uh, if we talk about uh, a little bit more things, so this is the file that I'll, that I upload in the in the uh, in the blog, and you can you can use this. So uh, here uh, I, we will talk about uh, application migration, minimize the time intensive uh, and error prone and automatically converting your source service from physical, virtual and cloud infrastructure to run natively on AWS. And it further simplify your migration by, by automating it. So various benefits, cut over window uh, of minutes only and no data loss because everything is getting replicated. Large scale migrations, wide platform and source operating system support automated migration. So that's the basic uh, little bit about application migration service. And uh, let's move, jump into AWS console and uh, start creating the infrastructure. So first we will create the create one user uh, in this and attach uh, migration agent policy and then we need to uh, take a look at some replication settings so let's uh, go to aws console <clears throat> so this is migration hub so if we go to identity and access management so go to identity and access management and let's see the mgn user so i hope it should be already created so i have already created this mgn user so in this uh, you can create a new user and uh, this policy attach this policy and then uh, download the uh, security keys for this that will be used for uh, for uh, for migration so go to security credentials and let's make this deactivate and download new keys delete so create access key so from here we can download the keys so secret key and 
then access id so we will use this uh, in migration so as per the best practice we are not using the root account so it's best recommended to use the uh, specific role for this so let's go to application migration service so first we will talk about the uh, <clears throat> so these were the previous servers that i tested so this can so this can be archived or mark archived so these are already archived yes so here uh, we will see all those servers that we are going to migrate so here if we go to uh, so so okay. settings so edit so this is the uh, replication settings template. So what I mean by a replication setting is that uh, replication setting determined how data will be replicated from source service to AWS are governed by replication setting templates and which you configure before adding source server to application migration service. So this all, um, all, all uh, uh, migration will be governed by this template. So you, you can edit this template where you want to store that and and all those details. So where you want to launch it, so you, you can do that. So, so here, uh, let's define our staging area. So I have, I'll put all those required settings. So in the help, helping file. So let's select target public for staging area subnet. Target public and the replication instance type t3 small and ebs storage gp2 default encryption and always use application migration for this security group so rest keep everything default so click save template So this is done now. So, so we have defined our launch template that will govern our migration. So now the next step is uh, let's go to the uh, go to the servers that needs to be migrated. So all those servers will be shown over here. So uh, let me go to the help file. So here what we do is I have mentioned all those commands. So let's install the agents on the server. So now we will go to our uh, bash and host over here. So uh, I'll install all those servers, uh, uh, agent on all these servers. So on the, uh, on all the servers, let me minimize them. So I'm into it, uh, our bash and host that, that we accessed from M our RDP tool. So, So let's download the agent. So copy this first command and run that command on the on the server. So we have downloaded our agent and uh, let's install it so here uh, it will ask about the region in which we are migrating our servers so here we have selected our uh, us west too so we are migrating our servers in this so let's mention that Uh, download. And there is some error. Let's try again. Yeah. 
let's try this command again select the region okay so now we need to put the uh, access id that we that we copied while creating that user so i hope you have written that access id for mgn user so here we will copy that key and provide that access id and share secret key so let's copy this in this near this command okay so it has accepted the uh, our authentication so now here it is asking what uh, what all disks needs to be uh, replicated so here we are replicating all the disks so press enter so all the volumes were replicated identified so this, this will start replication and it will show the server over here so similarly we need to run those commands on our uh, all the servers over here to identify the uh identify all those servers in the migration so replication will start we will see all these servers in the <coughs> in the in the application migration service so from there we can start migrating the servers so so far let's install the agents on all the services or, or all the source servers i'm sorry so copy this So since this is a simple step, so uh, I'll uh, pause this video for some time so that I can uh, so to avoid making this video lengthy. So let me do this. So I'll pause this video, install the agents, and then get back. <laughs> so guys, I have installed the agents on all the servers from Office DB, then Office WordPress uh, web server and the WordPress web and uh, on the on the wordpress db server so let's go to aws console so uh, we can see uh, this is the console for application migration service so in in source server so i can see all those servers on which we have installed the agent so that will be shown over here so the replication is has been initiated so this will take some time so to replicate the data and then we can start our migration so this will take some time and uh, so if we go to this uh, in the details of the server so this will this is showing that it's not ready yet and replication is in progress so it's replicating all that data that uh, that is there on the server and uh, you can see all these settings are there the server info the disk settings <clears throat> so 8 gig is the disk that is on the server so replication setting that we defined launch setting launch setting on which this will be the server will be launched so we will look into launch settings as well so for the time being uh, for which this server will be ready uh, these servers will be migrated so uh, initial sync it, it, this has been started so this will take some time so for the time being i'll pause this video and resume it Okay, guys. So, uh, our all the instances has been replicated, snapshots has been created, and now all are healthy, and uh, they are ready for testing. All, all the things are. Also, if you want to see <clears throat> all these things in the cloud trail, also, so there also you can see what's all going on, what all details are there, what, what's what's running for this. So, uh, so here also creating snapshot, assuming role. And uh, so all these all these things are in detail are there for what what's happening. So in case you want to troubleshoot anything or uh, 
need more insights into what what all is happening so you can check that in the uh, in the cloud trail also so here you are you are getting all those logs what, what's being what's being running in there so so qu quite helpful uh, to to see all these things are there so if you open any any one log so you can get the details so resource name on which this is going on event record what all is happening so who, who is performing this source ip and uh, event id so, so so all the all those details are which with with which key access uh, is you is being used uh, what's the aws region so all those details that you want to know who is doing it and at what time and which region which user so you can get all those details in the uh, cloud trail so now all our servers are ready now so next step is uh, so if we go back to the <clears throat> go back to our presentation so we are talking about this environment all these servers are now replicated uh, all, all these servers are now replicated using mgn application migration server to target subnet group so if we move forward so these steps so far we have covered so create application uh, im user we have created the im user and uh, replication settings we said that install the agent on on premises server <clears throat> and also uh, uh, after this video i'll cover for microsoft azure server and uh, let's configure the ec2 launch template and uh, then after that we will uh, launch the test instance so next step is launch template where we want we want to put these uh, instances in which subnet and what kind of instance so based on the recommendations also we can decide the launch template also so let's go back to aws console so here i am into aws console So if we go to uh, each server, so we can define the launch template also. <clears throat> so here it's it's ready for testing now. So if we go to launch settings, so here are uh, different launch settings and uh, launch template. So we can edit that. So let's install right sizing. Let's disable this and save settings and uh, edit the launch template for uh, easy to uh, click on modify so here uh, we need to provide the same name so let's provide the name of the server uh, of with db on premises server so let's put the name as this one <clears throat> and uh, describe the name source template by default that one is defined so let's change the instance type so currently it's selected as c4 let's select c5 large and no need to select the let's select the target target public sorry target private so keep these settings same and uh, uh, security group so that you should not face any problem uh, and security group should be Just a second, let me find these settings. Target security group. Yes, this one. And also we can use some settings for the storage. Let's select GP3 and uh, yeah so let's let's change these three settings c5 instance and uh, subnet into target private and uh, 
security group target security group so that we can have relevant uh, access uh, to the servers to to manage that so uh, the, these things uh, needs to be selected very accurately else you will face a lot of problem so th that that's the main thing so uh, I'll, I'll mention all these things in the in the uh, gu guide or in the blog so you can you can do that so let me put them so So in the uh, this will help or how we can uh, edit the launch templates. So here uh, here we are uh, editing the launch template. So we are changing these four things. So I have I'll mention that in the help book. So we are changing the machine type, the the storage type, the target network, and the security group. So this will be this will be made the changes. So create template. So after creating the template, so uh, we are going to change the version for 8FA7. So view launch templates. So change the version of that. So select this and uh, make this as a default template. Set default version. Select three set default version so that when this instance will be launched, we need to select the uh, select the same uh, uh, launch version for that. So similarly for other in instances also, uh, we have updated the launch template for this server. So if we select this one, go to launch setting, uh, let's edit this one to none, save settings and edit the modify the EC2 instance, modify and a new window opens up, it goes to templates. So let's keep the name of that uh, of this web. So let's keep the template name, this one, and uh, select C5 large and uh, subnet target private and uh, security group target security group. So target security group, yeah. Create and also change the storage GP3 and create template view 27AE last digits, 27AE. So modify set default version. So here select three one set default version. So that's how you 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 launch the uh, change the launch, launch template for that. So I'll make changes for rest of the two instances. So uh, uh, pausing this video so to avoid it making making it lengthy. So I'll resume once I'm done with the settings for the rest of the servers. Okay, guys, I have edited the uh, default versions and edited the template. So all these are on the temp uh, version three is the default version. So perform all those uh, settings for for the servers for all the servers and uh, edit the launch template so that we can if we want to edit any 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 launch settings, you can edit that. So that was the main objective of this. So we have changed the launch settings, so they are ready for testing. So let's next step is launch test machines. So if we go to uh, ready for testing, so uh, uh, ready for testing, uh, launch for cutover replication. So here also you can control the uh, replication settings. So here, uh, if you want to make changes on the server, so. So let's select all the servers and launch test instances. So this will launch the test instances for these servers. So I have selected all the four servers, click on launch. So again, uh, this uh, one job has been created for this. So if you want to see all those details in that, if also if, let's go to the server and uh, initial replications finished our settings. So about the about the yes 
this one so here it it will show all those details for this job so it, it, it uh, uh, job has been started and uh, snapshot has been created so from this snapshot the latest setting it will pick up and then launch the test instance in that also if we go to our uh, uh, our ec2 instances we can see over here the instances that being launched so these mid are the previous ones so it will launch more instances over here so this will take some time snapshots are being taken so this will create a migration conversion server one is that and uh, then it will start creating the server so it, it's it's similar uh, similar uh, kind of uh, environment that is there in the cloud endure uh, create conversion servers and then launch the test server so here you can see all those things servers so here also we will see uh, the the instances that being created so if we go to back to our migration service <coughs> So test is in progress. Migration life cycle has been changed. And uh, if we go to any instance, so test is in progress. If we see this one, so started taking snapshot, finished taking the snapshot. So this will now create the test servers. So from here, you can you can monitor the monitor what's actually going on. <clears throat> so these are the basic steps that happen behind the scenes what all actually is happening for application migration service while migration of the servers so taking the snapshots this will this now this will create the servers so if we go to our ec2 instances we can see servers being launched so this this uh, these are the conversion servers being launched. So test is in progress. If we see the migration job finish taking snapshot okay uh, so we have launched test instances so we can see alert as it we got successfully launched it so now also for monitoring purpose we can if we go to launch history we can see the job ID for that was created for this migration. So it'll it'll take the snapshots and finish taking snapshots. So you can all uh, you can see the status of servers over here also. <clears throat> so also uh, you can monitor it here also, and uh, you can see the the status. So now test is in progress, and next status is uh, ready for cutover. Also, if we go to our EC2 instances, if we go to EC2 instances, so here, uh, uh, these are the previous instances that are running on premises. And in parallel, uh, th we have created uh, uh, the premises, uh, the servers on AWS. So all these servers are created. And these servers are on, on premises and these servers were created by uh, migration service to convert the server. So that's how uh, the basic concept of AWS migration service is that it takes the snapshot of the on-premises server and then convert those servers on AWS and create a new machine as so also you can see at the instance type that we uh, mentioned during our launch template. So same instance type is being used. So that's how you can change the launch settings of the of the instances. And after migration, these uh, the server that was created for migration that that has been terminated. So I hope you can uh, get clear idea how things work. So let's move forward to next steps and uh, 
so next step is uh, we ne we need to cut over cut over the instances so here you, uh, various uh, tests can be performed on the servers and uh, we, we can test the server so test is in progress if we go back to our uh, go back to our uh, uh, to presentation so just for understanding we have uh, uh, we have uh, 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 migrated these servers launch test so until now migration is not uh, migration is not complete so we are at this step launch the test instance so far uh, created user replication settings installing agent and this will be done done in separate uh, configuring the launch template so now we will launch cutover instance so let's move forward to uh, next step in our uh, in our uh, uh, in in the in the practical so next step is that uh, now if we see the status of, of any server so test is in progress so ready for cutover so let's go to servers and select these servers and mark them ready for cutover continue so ready for cutover so next step is so once testing is performed all those things are in place and we we can move forward so uh, the the next step is launch cutover instances so let's select all these and launch cutover instances launch so some some of the applications are source included so th this is common error so not a problem so we need to wait for some more minutes so then we can launch it we need to wait for some more time so uh, some background uh, api calls are in process so we can we can try it again so launch cutover instances click on launch uh, one or more source api uh, calls are currently being processed by a job so let, we need to wait for some more minutes so that's uh, i hope you are getting the things in case you have any problem you can ping me again i am saying ping me on my email id and uh, <clears throat> or mention the in the comments of this video so let's try again launch cutover instances click on launch yes so now cutover is in progress again uh, this will take some time and until the uh, until the uh, the finalized instances are are being created in that so in the launch history we can monitor that monitor the job so it will take the snapshot and again uh, create the servers from that so that's how you can start monitoring it and the status is pending in this also you can if you go to ec2 instances you can watch it over there also so all the testing instances are being terminated now and uh, now uh, it will create the finalized uh, finalized instances so that's how things work in application migration test instance will be terminated and now it will create the cutover instances so let's go to AWS application migration service. So here cutover is in progress and then we will finalize the cutover and uh, change the DNS settings. So this is going to take some time. So for the time being, I'll, I'll uh, pause this video. Okay guys, so uh, I'm resuming my video after launching the cutover instance. So, so uh, cutover is in progress now uh, and and next step is finalize cutover so cutover instance has been launched now so you can see the alerts over here also if we go into any server so you can check the status cutover is, is in progress before that it was cutover so also we can uh, view in ec2 instance the the uh, this uh, server that has been launched also through this we can uh, monitor the uh, job id that that was created for this so taking the snapshot creating the server from that and the status is launched also if we go to ec2 instances so there also you can uh, you can see so previous 
test instances has been terminated and now uh, new instances are being uh, are are now created on it so uh, you can see all this so previous are terminated these are on premises instances so that's how application migration works so moving to servers so next step is finalize cutover so let's just change the status to finalize the cutover so launched cutover finalize cutover finalize so uh, these instances will be marked as archive data replication has been disconnected now so uh, now the next step is we need to shut down the on premises server and change the dns setting so if we go to our uh, our slide so here uh, just a re review we created i am user replication settings installing agent on premises server configuring ec2 instances launch test instance then cut over now next step is uh, shut down the source servers update the dns and finalize the uh, cut over so uh, uh, we have migrated this all these servers to target subnet and uh, let me show you the reference architecture so this is the reference architecture so we have uh, we will migrate uh, all these servers so let's perform the uh, shutdown of the source environment and update the dns settings on the aws instances so once everything is done then we can access the aws instances so let's write down the ip addresses of the instances that has been launched so these are the instances so let's write down the ip addresses so this is the ip address of wordpress on premises environment next go to instance uh, uh, of which dv of which dv instance next instance of which on premises So these are the instances that has been created on AWS. So we will update the DNS settings, uh, DNS settings on these servers and shut down the uh, source servers. WordPress TV. So uh, just for reference, so I have noted down the IP addresses of the target instances. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm now shut down the the source instances, uh, the this one on premises. I'll shut down this, and instances has been created over here. And I will update the DNS settings of the of these instances so that DNS will be directed towards these. And then we will again test the access of the instances. So I hope. Uh, uh, concept is clear so far so let's go to our uh, this is our bashing host so we are already accessing these servers so these are all the on on premises servers so let's shut down them let me access the uh, command so you can use the same command control c so shut down this one okay shut down this one okay shut down this one okay shut down so i have shut down all the on premises servers so let's let's start new session to connect the on premises uh, aws servers so we have uh, copied the IP addresses so this one open yes user 
admin123. So same password that we kept. So this is the first server. Let's copy the WordPress DB new session. So I hope you remember the same user login and password is admin123. So this is a WordPress DB that is web. So let's copy the office web server and new session open yes user admin123 and let's copy the of which database new session Open user admin123. So uh, we have connected to these are the servers that are on AWS cloud. So next step is let's update the DNS settings on these servers. So let's copy the DNS settings and go to our console. So, sorry. Copy WordPress, yes, updated, DB updated web updated updated so we have updated all the addresses so if we again access the uh, the url links that we used before then we should be able to access this so let's copy this So let's open the Internet Explorer. Yes, so our site is working. So this is the site that we are accessing from AWS web servers. So let's try to open the for off website. Enter. Yes, and secure. Go to web page. Okay. Okay. So both the applications are live now. So so I hope you understood the concept. So our both the servers are live and working fine. And now we are accessing the AWS servers. So that's how I hope you understand the concept. We shut down the servers and let's mark them archive actions mark as archived so they will be removed from the uh, uh, from the application migration uh, dashboard so if we uh, come back to our <coughs> to to our uh, site so the this is the reference architecture now so we have migrated our uh, uh, wordpress app and dv and the migrated office app and db servers so these are servers are created on aws now migrated from on premises updated the dns server of on premises and now it's directing towards it so when we access so we are accessing these uh, servers uh, mostly in uh, in maybe in another use case we uh, the global dns server are used so the settings can be changed in that also so before it it could be on premises and after making the changes it can be target targeted to uh, aws cloud so that's how uh, in in real scenario works so here for testing we created internal uh, 
internal ones so i hope uh, we uh, uh, concept has been clarified how we migrated the uh, the servers from on premises to aws using aws migration service so uh, that was it for this video and in the uh, next slide i'll cover the database migration so now everything has been moved to aws now we need to use uh, it using dvs migration service we will use the uh, aws managed database so now currently the database is being deployed on the ec2 instance of aws but we need to modernize the infrastructure so using dms we will migrate this uh, database to aws managed services so i hope uh, i have clarified your concepts so uh, this will understand the migration architecture and using aws migration service so if you like this video kindly subscribe to the channel and like the video in case you have any queries don't hesitate to ping me or mention the comments see you in the next video for database migration services